I woke up one day on stage, a spotlight exposing my failed act I could no longer pretend. Woman, a meticulous yet tumultuous dance traveled up my body, sealed the temptation, marked where the irrational makes itself seem. Thereafter, the curtains lifted, I was urged to stand pretty and be tall. Nineteen years later, I cry on stage all I could think. Who damned me to this shit? The plot is survival. Who fits into the narrow bubble, clearing through the checkpoints of humanity, versus who floats on the outskirts, clouding themselves with illusion that they might just squeeze past. Conformity hurts when it's a glass ceiling, shards raining down, smearing into your skin for entertaining the idea of floating through. Bouquets of roses rain on the best performers, red like the blood of our pain escaping a towel, worn out from kissing our bruises every night. We wring ourselves and discard it in a bin, lifeless apathy but not death. Not death. Cause sometimes when I craft the believable dress, straighten the tag, perfect the lines, land the smile, capture the audience, conformity feels like snuggling under the warmth of a heavy conformator. Gender is the ultimate performance, kaleidoscopic beings, two conspicuously neat boxes. I dare to ask myself, why are most of us only playing man or woman? Is to question a hopeless floater like me, prayed, avoiding. See, for 19 years I have been playing woman, carrying the world on my back, disfiguring my lips into a smile because pain is never an excuse for women to be ugly. The fatigue is palpable, scars sit on my body with whales of their own. Conformity is funny to me. The casting call put up an image of woman and my black ass will never look like that. The role description said woman acts like this, but my bad self can only act so far. I knew I was set up when at 14 I realized woman wasn't inherent to my curves. They never stopped me from being called monkey, nor did they ever get the boys to love me. They betrayed me. My body made me trouble, irrational and obedient, to be subdued and to serve. The natural absurdity and servitude of woman is a double-edged carving knife, where natural is represented by the body, shaped by the rational men. Violence against the abject bronze remains the prize for the best sculptor. How well can you whip your woman into shape? Playing woman is like checking into a lifelong boot camp. Femininity is like a Jillian Michaels on steroids. She crawled down my throat and beat my voice into oblivion. Woman was the pole, my mass distributor as I tightrope to and fro the performance of the Western woman and the West African woman. I was femininity's best student. She whipped my skin into submission. My body became hollow and large. Silence was the loudest thing I could bear. I tried peeling it off, de-threading my muscles, cracking my bones open, looking for anywhere inside my body that damned me to this bullshit. How well can we delude ourselves that playing woman is fun? What tells you that woman is me? Have you seen the fire that sits between my legs? Woman, gender, that shit duped me into conformity, selling me safety under her boot in exchange to flatten myself into oblivion. Like grandmother, mother, sister did. Look, just maybe, actually, I'm not an expert, but I fucking hate playing woman. I hope that makes sense. I hope I made myself clear. Let me ask again, what tells you that I am woman? 
The strongest person I know lives in hyperboles and dramatics. They invite danger and lust in the eyes of men. She carries the weight of the women before her. And despite that, they live as she dreams. It's me. I wear defiance on my skin. I just want to celebrate being alive. We perform to survive and some of us wear survival on our skin. Gender becomes a cape an easy cover for a chance to slip through. The darkness will always prevail. We wear defiance on our skin. If safety is the reason to explain gender's existence, I will twist its arm until the pain is too much and reveal its real nature, projections outside of the self. What tells you that I am woman except for you? I woke up one day on stage, a spotlight exposing my disruption. I am both mind and body. Gender nonconformity does not begin to explain the damage I will be causing to this play. An assertive yet messy dance unfucked and recalibrated my mind, revealed the mental gymnastics that justified the repression. I waited for the intermission to mourn. 19 years later, I kissed the stage and all I could think, life is one fucking performance.